Hi everybody and welcome back to Shakur or Collie's Empowering Hints. Today we are in the room with the babies. This is Love Me's Litter. Her six babies, the four boys and two girls. A little bit of a delayed video. The last one we posted they were only a couple days old. Uh, we had some technical difficulties trying to figure out the camera. For some reason we couldn't get videos uploaded. So anyway, they are now four weeks old and three days. Birthday's on Thursday, so a little bit delayed, but regardless, here they are. They're eating their dinner right now. Chowing down, and I'm joined in here by Neil. This is their new room. We just moved them out of the whelping box so they have more space. Um, over there is kind of like the play area would be. But they have more room to stretch the legs. Boys, uh, they have a wobble board they can get some balance with. They will have some more toys soon. But as per the usual, our delivery people like to be a little bit late on getting things to us. Uh, they have their litter pans over here. Those uh, slotted pieces on the side are just temporary. The pans aren't large enough to cover the whole space, so I place those there to try and encourage the puppies through the pans when they come out of their crate, which they sleep in, um, to prevent them from pottying over there and to potty in the pans instead. But there are a few messes outside, however, they've been doing pretty good about using the bathroom with pans, so that's what we're doing for now until I can find some sort of blocks or something to put there to prevent them from, from going to the bathroom over there. So here's the babies. You can see them. They're chowing down. This little boy right here. This is who we call, temporarily call him eyeshadow because of the black spots under his eyes. He has a little ear that's trying to stand up. This ear right here is trying to stand up. It's working on it. He's kind of our more sensitive boy. He's a little bit whiny. Takes him a little bit to get used to new situations. Um, he requires a little bit of help working through problems. Um, he tends to shut down a little bit, but we've been working on some confidence. And he's been doing really well. He's gotten a lot better. Currently he's chewing on me. You're chewing on me. Get the toy. Little rat. You little rascal. Hold on. Back up. Back up. Nobody can see you if you're all up in my face. All up in my face. Can you see this? Oops. These tags will be coming off. We just haven't taken them off yet because they like to um, pick them up by the tags and carry them around. Here comes one of the little girls. She reminds me a lot of her mom. She's very quiet, very calculating. She likes to sit back and watch, but she doesn't let any of the other ones bully her around either. I'm curious to see how she continues to grow. She reminds me so much of Love Me. And we had the biggest boy coming up. We affectionately call him Porky for right now because he's the biggest and he's chunky. He's a boy we hope to um, keep back depending on how his personality continues to develop. Uh, obviously his permanent name will not be Porky, but that's just what we call him right now because he's so chubby compared to all the others. <clears throat> That's the other girl right there. She's still eating. She hopefully has a home um, 
with one of my co-workers but again we don't do um, official puppy picks until eight weeks after uh, my sister and I as the breeders decide on our holdbacks although this litter we're not holding back any females we're just looking to hold back a male um, and I also like to wait until eight weeks old so we can do temperament testing at seven weeks just to make sure that the right family gets the right puppy um, that falls back on that original statement I made about um, setting people and puppies up for success rather than failure um, but hopefully she has a home let's wait and see there's another baby over there I believe that's who we call Patch Come on. Yeah, this is the boy that we temporarily call Patch because of the black patch over his eye. <clears throat> He's also relatively quiet. Now they're all mobbing me because I called them over. <laughs> uh, yes. He likes to sit back and watch as well, but he's uh, he's very sweet. And as with any puppy, he likes to roll around and play. The other white-faced puppy right there, we like to call him Sadness because he always looks so droopy in the face. Uh, hopefully he'll be going to our sister. But again, it all depends on temperament and when we make our picks um, at eight weeks old. We're only holding back one puppy right now. So we'll see. Alright you guys, I can't see y'all if y'all are all up underneath me. They just woke up from their nap and now have full bellies, so they're ready to go. You stepped on the food. Oh no, baby. Your sister's getting your tail. Yeah, I was gonna get their um, four week old pictures today, but it's been raining all day long. Um, we don't have very good lighting in the house, so I had to take pictures outside. But it's been all wet and sloppy and nasty, and I haven't been able to, to get out and get some good pictures. So hopefully, uh, maybe tomorrow, if it doesn't rain, we can get some. <laughs> What y'all doing over here? What y'all doing? Oops! Uh oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> Good boy. You did it. You got up. You did it. <laughs> So this is interesting. So I showed it right now. Kind of picking on his brother a little bit. But instead of deciding to fight back, he's decided to try and walk away. And that's exactly the reason why we're looking at keeping him back is because of the fact that so far he doesn't try to retaliate when any of his siblings are really kind of getting them and really pinching them, really, you know, holding them down and rushing them up. So far he's simply chosen to walk away. Unless it's a particular situation where they're just being really, really rough and he'll tell them off. 
but he doesn't pursue. It's a tell-off, and then he goes away. So that's one of the main reasons why we're currently looking at keeping him back. Because we really want to um, try and get some nice, steady, stable males in our, in our lines. And that's potentially a very good treat for that. I believe we're missing somebody. What you do? Ooh, what you doing, girl? Are you chewing on that mat? Look at her. She says, I'm gonna beat this thing up. I'm gonna tear it up. I'm gonna tear this thing up. You're being a stinker. You are, you're being a stinker. There we go. Good girl. Good job. Good puppy. They weren't sure about this wobble board at first. But they really seem to like it now. I'm being ravaged. I'm being ravaged. You're chowing into me. All right, you little stinker. Hey, you're pinching me. Get the toy. There we go. Um, yeah. Bite that, not me. them a little bit better. As you can see, they're climbing on me. They're climbing all over me. Boink. Play with each other, sillies. Get crackly. I apologize if you hear one of the dogs barking in the background. Oh, be one of the Pomeranians. She's um, she's the worst one at barking out of the palms. She's, she just she's one of those that likes to bark at everything. She has a very active mind. This area will be opened up more once they get a little bit bigger. Um, once they get a little more consistent, hopefully with the pans, then what we'll do is we'll take this divider out so they have a smaller room. And probably take that, that red pan out right there and just have the two black ones. Here, the one I mentioned earlier about hopefully having a home um, for one of my co-workers if, if she turns out good. Her name will hopefully be Kismet. Um, our hopeful potential owner is really falling in love with her, so 
I hope that'll all work out. And that she'll be able to keep the name of Little Kismet. Yes, she's very, very smart. Very attentive. And now she's got a poop. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, you already done most of it. All right, go in the pan. Finish up in the pan. Good job. So they don't step on it. Great right, little rascals. I'll bury y'all. That's love and learn. She knows they have food and she wants to come in here and clean out the food. You need TV? Go in the pan. You go in the crate. They kind of automatically took to the crate as far as um, wanting to go in there and sleep. And we had a sheet over the whelping box from the time that they were born until we moved them up over to this larger room. And I think that might have really helped with the transition to the crate. That's because they're used to that dark space and feeling secure. Oh man, I'm getting trashed. Trashed by your sissy. Got this little ham under my feet. I'm kind of having a little dominance through there. Seeing how they react to, to the bite pressure and how the boy is not appreciated being pinned. So that's why he's vocalizing, is because he's not appreciating that. But we'll fight back. Just kind of waited until the, his sister actually broke that up. Cause a little distraction there. And he was able to get away.
All right, you little ravagers. Get under my feet. I can't see you all. The boy's still in there. He's playing with the blanket that's in the crate. All right, well, I won't keep you all long. Just an average length, so I like to try and keep things between 20 to 30 minutes. But just an update on the puppies. They're growing a lot. They're really starting to show their personalities. Figuring out how they want to play, how they want to be, how they want to interact with each other. That'll be it for today. As always, any questions, comments, feel free to ask. Always willing to answer. But that's the babies. Four weeks old and three days. Really getting into that mobile stage, want to explore and play with everything. Alright, that's it for now. Bye-bye.